this is what Josh do in this video is going to be me installing CyanogenMod 7 Alpha 2.1 on the CM touchpad. They confirmed that once the CM9 source code is released, that will be ported. So of course there will be updates when ICS, aka Ice Cream Sandwich, is released for the touchpad. This is going to be a rough video, so I do apologize, as I've never done this before, and I'm going to encounter some errors probably. I've downloaded all these files in advance and I have them all right here. This is the HP, Novacom, whatever software. There's a 32-bit and a 64-bit. I'll have links to this in the video. All I did was double click on it and install it. And now under C, Program Files, Palm Inc, right here. I take the Acme installer and I drag it over here. Well, I want to copy it, so copy, paste, in the same directory where the Palm Novacom is installed on the computer that is C Program Files Palm Inc. Connect your HP touchpad with the USB cable. Tap the symbol to mount your drive. Okay, that's what I'm going to do now. All right, I have the touchpad hooked up as a USB drive. The computer's going nuts. There we go, USB drive. And now on the computer, all you simply do is drag all the files, a total of five files, over to the touchpad. Now we're on the touchpad's internal memory. We need to create a new folder. Name it CM install. Copy update, tenderloin, full of bugs, clockwork mod recovery, and the mboot, mobot, moboot, moboot, into that directory. So three files, actually four. Because you also want to drag the Google add-ons. <laughs> they spelled it T-A-T. <laughs> do not unzip these files. This is something you do not do with Android. So this is the CM's install directory. And these are the four files that are going on the SD card. I'm going to eject the WebOS device. It can be safely removed. Well, that just makes it worse. How do I get it out of this? Alright, I'm just going to unplug it and it's going to say, ow, that hurt. Yeah, see? I did do that, stupid. Okay, now we're going to go to settings. Device info. Reset options. Re no, don't do that. Come back. Yeah, hey. Close. Restart. As soon as you get a black screen, you want to hold down the volume down button. Okay, so now we're in bootloader. It says installing. Watch this be the part that kicks my ass. CMD. Okay, it says that the drivers are now ready. It's down here. Installed successfully. CD, C. Oh, it's the other one. Now in the root directory. CD program files. CD palm ink. Awesome. Now, this part I'm just going to copy and paste without the quotation marks paste okay it's not doing anything and neither is the touchpad <gasps> there's the touchpad <gasps> preparing to shut down Look at that. Boot cyanogen. Ah! It's like a behind the scenes. <gasps> cyanogen! And hey, what's this? Is, is this a touchpad? Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Connecting to my router. Ha 
<laughs> hey, what's this right here? Yeah, you see that? This will be the same username I post this video. 59,000 views. Oh, back. Oh, come on, go the other way. Well, okay, be that way. Go to the market and continue back up. Update. Oh, it already came with the ROM. I think so. Allow automatic updating. Oh, yeah, you drag it up. I'm gonna go ahead and enter the thing. Allow. Freaking sweet! I'm gonna load my text file on here and I'm gonna make it pro, of course. Dude, this is. this is wicked. Oh, hey, if you have Titania backup, press menu, help and support, about. What do you see right there? I'll zoom in on it. Greetings to what would Josh do? <laughs> and when you click on it, it takes you to my YouTube page, which obviously needs some work. Display. Screen timeout. Five minutes. Auto rotate screen. Oh, maybe now it'll work like this. Ha <laughs> That's awesome. So if we hold the home button. Oh, it doesn't do it. Or maybe I'm just not. There we go. Titania backup. Yeah. It says internal 1.52 gigabytes free. SD card 5.2 gigs free. So the internals for your apps, the second bar. If you have internal and external storage, this is how it'll appear in Titania backup. Anyways, my name is Josh. I go by what would Josh do on SanEngine. SDX and Roots Wiki and pretty much every other website. If you like this video, please leave a rating. And if you want to see more videos, please click the subscribe button. You can also get emails if you want to whenever I upload a new video. Thank you.